I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be using our uh, wax crayons, felt markers, and a choice colored piece of paper, and one white piece of paper to create this lovely artwork that explores the style of art making of artist Yayoi Kusuma, but it also explores pattern and repetition, and it also is a perfect artwork to use for either Diversity Month, Love and Kindness Month, um, a loving theme, friendship, or even Valentine's Day. So grab your art making mediums and let's make some art. art project tutorial, we're going to be exploring a few things. So the first thing we're going to be exploring is the style of artist Yayoi Kusuma and her lovely style of intri um, introducing patterns and repetition into her artworks. Um, we're also going to be uh, exploring the principle of design pattern and repetition because Yaya Kusama is so great at adding that into her artworks. And finally, we're going to be adding some holiday vibe into this artwork. So we're going to be making this a Valentine's themed pattern and repetition Yaya Kusama masterpiece. Yep. All right. So we're going to be a couple things. We're going to need some felt markers, something to draw with, a white piece of paper, and a background paper choice color, any color you want for your background paper. And we're gonna be doing two different uh, Yayoi Kusama patterns today. So we're going to be making three hearts, but we're gonna be using two different styles of pattern and repetition, felt markers, and we're gonna add them to our background color. Here we go. So we're gonna make some very unusual Valentine's Day artworks. We're going to begin by making some hearts. So we're going to draw our first heart, which will be our largest and the focal point of our artwork. So we're going to do two dots so we're right above one another, just like that. Okay, we want them to be right above one another. And then we're going to take that dot and we're going to make our sides of our Valentine's Day heart. So that way it's a little bit more symmetrical, okay? So we're going to go up, around, and down to the bottom dot. Up around, down to the bottom dot. We're gonna do that two more times, but these are gonna be a little bit smaller. So that way we're just repeating the heart shape in our artwork, in addition to repeating some patterns we got going on in our heart. In this style of, of course, artist Yayoi Kusama. Okay, we got two more sets of dots. And now we're gonna take those dots and we're gonna do the same thing, up, Around, connect, up, around, connect. Here we go again. Up, around, connect, up, around, connect. So three lovely hearts. And now we're going to make them a little bit more bold and beautiful. So we're gonna take a nice black felt marker or something dark and we're gonna go around those edges and we're just gonna tidy them up and we're gonna make those lines a little bit more thick and that's just gonna increase the contrast and help them stand out against the background. So we're gonna do that on all three before we start adding some patterns. Okay. Nice, bold, and beautiful. Stands right out of that page. All right, we're gonna take our nice dark color here, black, and we're gonna start off by doing the first heart with our first pattern. Okay, so we're gonna start off with doing some big dots down the center. Nice big dots. So Yaya Kusuma loves to do dots and loves to do repeated shapes. So we're gonna explore her style of making. Okay, big dots. Now on either side, we're going to do medium dots. And we're repeating the dot shape. And yes, we will be making a pattern. Medium dots. 
And then finally, we're going to do a, a tiny dot on each side, just a little dot. And now we need to repeat this pattern on each side. So it's going to go back to medium dots. So it's going to go big dot, medium dot, small dot, medium dot, big dot, medium dot, small dot. And we're going to do that as a pattern. Going to medium dots on either side. And then we're going to do some big dots. And this is where we're making our pattern for Valentine's Day, inspired by artist Yayoi Kusama. I got my lovely big dots and I wonder what one comes next. Hmm, let's check. Oh yeah, we've got some medium dots to add. Here we go. Medium dots and then tiny dots. What a lovely, beautiful pattern. You'll see this often in her wonderfully dotted artworks. Okay, tiny dots. And I only have a little bit of room left so I'm just gonna put my little medium dots along here and this heart pattern is done. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so now we're going to do a new pattern and this one's full of triangles and we're just going to color in, draw and color different triangles throughout these two shapes. Okay, lots of different triangles throughout these hearts. We want all kinds of different triangles. We're gonna draw our triangles and then we're gonna color them in black. Same on this one. And we're, of course, repeating the triangle shape throughout each heart. And that's, of course, principle of design repetition. So principle of design pattern, making a pattern with our dots. But we also have repetitions so or repeating the triangle shapes. We're repeating the heart and we're repeating the dots in here. We have lots working together. And of course, there's gonna be a lot of contrast happening in here as well, but that's not the main focus. And of course, contrast is opposites working together. So this will be dark versus light, high contrast colors. Okay, once you're done that, now you have a choice. You can either color in on top with a felt marker, but if you notice it's going to smudge, so if you color on top and it doesn't smudge, do a little sample section, you can color right on top with your felt markers, or if you're noticing it's smudging with your felt markers, you can switch and use a wax crayon, and that won't smudge. So you can use your choice, or whatever one you want. They're, as you can see, it looked almost the exact same, so it doesn't really matter. Wax crayons are very vibrant, and I find they do a beautiful job of making a very solid colored surface. So I'm gonna color right on top with my choice of colors, and you can color on top with your choice of colors. 
nice and bright, whatever you pick. We're gonna make some nice high contrast Kusuma inspired colors. Now she loved to do a lot of yellow pumpkins, so I'm making this a yellow heart. Even though it's Valentine's Day, we are still making it inspired by the style of an artist. She loves, loves, loves those bright colors. Okay, I'm gonna do a nice blue. And finally, I'm gonna do green. And I know none of these are typical Valentine's Day colors, but for me, I love these colors and I see kindness and love in all colors. And as well, there's no rules when we make art. You just have to do what feels right. And for me, these are the colors that feel right in my artwork. Gotta follow our own artist flavor and intuition. But if you wanna do Valentine's colors, feel free to do it. You don't have to do it the exact way that I'm doing it. All right, I'm done coloring. So now I'm gonna cut out, I'm gonna add it to my background. So I'm gonna grab my scissors. I'm gonna use one hand to do the cutting and one hand to do the turning. So one, my cutting hand's not really moving, but this hand's gonna direct the paper. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and cut out those hearts along the black. And if you want, you can choose to keep a bit of that white paper on if you like the look of that, or you can choose to cut it all off. It's really up to you. Okay, one heart. And any of our extra bits, we're gonna either keep them somewhere for our future art projects, we're gonna need to keep them, or if it's not a usable piece, you're gonna recycle it, okay? Sometimes I often find those extra little bits are lovely pieces or additions to um, other sketchbook artworks, or if sometimes you just need a little piece of paper, instead of using an entire piece of brand new paper, just use your little scrap paper bits that you've saved and use those instead of wasting an entire sheet. We have to be very mindful of our resources in our planet. Otherwise, if we use it all, there'll be nothing left. Okay, two pieces of paper. This is a small bit, so I'm gonna recycle that so it can become pieces of new things. But this is, there's a lot of nice pieces here, so I'm going to save this and put that in my scrap paper envelope. And I'll use that in future artworks. Cutting it out nice and carefully. Lovely, okay, so I have that done. I have my three all done. So now I'm gonna grab my art, my background paper, nice choice color, whatever color you want, you pick what makes you happy. Got my choice color and I'm gonna lay out my hearts however you want, you do you. And now we can go ahead and glue them down using any kind of glue that you want. Okay, we're gonna flip them over and we're gonna just add a little, not a lot. If you're using liquid glue, do a finger space in from the edge so you don't get glue spilling out the sides when you push down, so just around the border. We're gonna hold the edges as we flip it over. Okay, hold the edges as we flip it over. We're gonna carefully place it in a choice spot. We're gonna take our two flat hands to press and hold. We're gonna hold it for a moment to ensure that the glue goes through both paper fibers of the background and our heart, right? We want it to go through both and create a nice woven pattern. Okay, press and hold. There we go. I'm gonna do that two more times. So glue along the border only using either a glue stick or liquid glue. But if you use liquid glue, we want a nice finger space in from this edge so it doesn't spill out. Carefully place and then press and hold with a nice flat hand. We're gonna do that one more time. Go 
we will on the border. We don't need a lot, it's just paper that we're gluing together, not building a house. We're gonna place, then we're gonna press and hold. Okay, just like that. And finally, we're gonna take one more choice color and we're just gonna take that choice color and we're gonna go around our background and we're gonna add some lines to finish up our Kusama artworks. So we're just gonna take a choice felt marker color. We just gotta add a little bit more pattern and repetition here. And here's her final design. We're gonna draw some lines and we're gonna connect the lines in different diagonals. So we're just gonna make this beautiful mosaic. Add some big ones first. And then we're gonna connect those big ones with small ones. And we're gonna make this nice pattern all around our beautiful background to make a nice Kusama pattern. Now you know three different ways she likes to fill in areas of her artwork. So I'm just gonna continue this pattern. Work from one corner all the way out to the hearts and the remaining little areas. See how special that looks? Beautiful. Wherever you feel like there should be a line, just go ahead and add it. We want lots of vertical lines, diagonal lines, horizontal lines, whatever. Whatever you want, you do those. We just want to make a beautiful little line mosaic. Make our big lines and then fill in those areas with smaller and smaller lines. So I'm going to do my medium lines. And then I'm going to even fill in even smaller lines in between. Once you're done, you're lovely. Yayoi Kusama inspired artwork that explores pattern and repetition and is perfect for love and kindness or Valentine's Day is done. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so I can continue to make amazing art lessons for you. Oh yeah. Well, if you are an art educator or a teacher and you're looking for some cool art lessons for your classroom, no matter what kind of teacher you are, for any grade, check out the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store. There I have over 700 art lessons and of course it's always growing and transforming. So make sure you check it out frequently. But it's the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store and you're gonna find art lessons that are fully planned and easy to use. And you're gonna find some cool art activities to use for all the seasons all the holidays, and so much more. You're gonna find amazing art lessons that are integrating the seasons, the holidays, elements of art, principles of design, and art history, and so much more, my friends. It's a fabulous resource, so check it out. If you're looking for some awesome art ideas for your classroom, you can head on over to teacherspayteachers.com. In that search bar, just click it, and you can type in Ms. Artastic, same as this YouTube channel. There I am, you can click that, and that's gonna bring you to this page. And you can navigate it a variety of ways. You can go down, scroll, and see what's new. Um, these are usually my featured products that are usually brand new. Or if you go down to the side here, you're gonna find 
the categories of different things. You can click activity books to find my art um, activity books that are fully integrated with the elements and principles. You can find artists and art history, art sub resources, back to school, Christmas, distance learning, and so much more principles of design. Here it's all organized for different themes or the holidays and seasons or types of learning, including sketchbooks and social emotional learning and all of the above. So make sure you check it out. Ms. Artastic on Teachers Pay Teachers and thank you so much for watching.